Go big or go home. No pain, no gain. Lift big to get big. Are phrases you hear all the time if you're on social media looking for fitness advice. But what if I told you that you don't necessarily need to lift heavy, experience pain, or go big to experience muscle gain in the gym? In fact, you can gain just as much muscle lifting light as you can lifting heavy. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna go over the scientific research that's gonna help you understand why lifting light is gonna help you gain muscle. Then we're gonna go over an actual workout with sets, reps, and exercises, and then we're gonna finish with some caveats and how to continue once you start doing this type of training. Now, this video is especially useful for beginners who have just started training, for folks who are coming back from injury, or for someone that just doesn't like lifting heavy. According to a 2022 meta-analysis, by the way, a meta-analysis study is a statistical analysis that takes multiple studies, puts them together, runs some stats around them, and then comes out with a conclusion. This is typically considered the gold standard for studies. Anyways, according to that meta-analysis, you can gain just as much muscle lifting light as you could lifting heavy as long as you account for volume. So what this means in a practical sense is if you're going light, you're gonna have to do more reps or more sets. Typically, if you're doing a moderate or heavy weight, you're gonna do eight to 12 reps for three sets. But if you're gonna go a little bit lighter, you wanna do around three to four sets at about 20 to 30 reps. All right, another practical real life example that's gonna be pretty useful here. So I went ahead and cloned two versions of myself. Now the person closest to me is gonna be doing what I typically do when it comes to squats. So I'll go relatively moderate to heavy weight, 60 pounds in this case for about eight reps. Now let's say I wanna go lighter but still get the same muscle gain. So the individual all the way over there, they're gonna cut the weight by about 50%. He's got 30 pounds and he's gonna bump up the reps to about 20 to 30. So that person that's going light is still gonna feel fatigued and almost just as tired as the person doing 60, but they don't have to go as heavy and the forces going down on their joint aren't as powerful and maybe they just don't wanna lift as heavy. Damn, those high rep squats are no joke. Um, anyways, hopefully that was useful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Now, let's go over a full body workout that's gonna emphasize lighter loads, higher reps, and while we're at it, we're gonna make it quick, keep it under 50 minutes. Now, in order to make this workout a reality, we need to prioritize three different things. First, we need to make sure we're doing compound movements. That's utilizing two joints during a movement so we can cover a bunch of different muscle groups at once. Number two, you need an adjustable bench and a set of light dumbbells. And then number three, we have to use supersets. So a superset is when you perform two exercises back to back and then you do a rest break. In this scenario, we're gonna do an upper body followed by a lower body. It's gonna help keep everything nice and short and it's gonna help increase your volume and your intensity. Okay, so for superset one, we're gonna go ahead and do three point rows and we're gonna superset that with our hip thrusters. Three point rows work in the back hip thrusters, working the glutes. So for your three point row, hand on the bench, stick that leg out, knee is straight, shoulder is down, and then you're pulling back. Make sure you do it with your shoulder blade first and not your elbow. Again, high reps, low weight. So we're gonna superset the three point row with hip thrusts, mid back right on the back. You're pivoting on the mid back and be sure to keep that chin tucked as you go back and forth to keep your spine in a neutral position. Again, high reps light load. Okay, so superset two, incline dumbbell bench press, hitting the chest and the shoulders. And we're gonna pair that up with a dead bug for spine and core stability. Incline dumbbell bench press, 45 degrees at the bench, 45 degrees with your elbow as you come down. And you don't have to actually go all the way down, just go to a comfortable distance. Again, light load, high reps. All right, we're gonna pair that up with a dead bug. So basically a nice core stability exercise. You want your knees over your hips, your wrists over your shoulders, and then alternating arms and legs out. Now, when you move arms and legs out, make sure this knee doesn't move forward, and then make sure you're not overextending the back. Okay, superset three, we're gonna target the lats and the rear delts with a chest supported shoulder extension with the dumbbells. Keep your elbows straight, pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and you should feel that in your lats and your shoulders. All right, pairing that up with a split squat, static lunge, basically, shoulders back as you go down. You don't have to touch your knee all the way down. Just go down, come back up, quads and glutes here. Okay, last superset, we're gonna do a bicep curl to press for the biceps and the shoulders, and then we're gonna go ahead and pair that up with a lateral lunge for the bicep curl to press. Feet should be about hip width apart. Keep your palms faced in the whole way. It's like a hammer curl with a neutral press. Uh, and again, high reps, lightweight. And then finally, the lateral lunge. So this is gonna be targeting the inner thigh and the glutes 
we're gonna make it a little bit dynamic. So you're gonna start with the feet together, extend out, hinge at the hips, keep the spine neutral, and try to get nice and low. You should feel that in the inner thigh and the glutes. All right, so there you have it, a full workout going light, higher reps. Now, if this is something you wanna try, I've created a three day full body program that you can access for free via an easy mobile friendly Notion sheet. Uh, the link for that is down in the description. You can click that and I'll send it right over to you. One caveat though with this type of training. So this type of training is scientifically proven to, to increase your muscle mass. However, it's not gonna be the best for strength gain. Now you will gain some strength naturally, but if you do the uh, kind of heavier weights, lighter reps, you're gonna gain more strength. So that's the only thing. And I do recommend after about six to eight weeks of going light, you bumping it up because it's important to be able to hit, lift heavy just functionally in life. You never know when you're gonna need it. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for joining us. If you have any comments or concerns, I'd love to hear from you. If you found this helpful, go ahead and share it with someone that you know that would benefit from it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.